Iowa State fans undoubtedly know the date by now, 1912. It's been 108 years since the Cyclones won a conference championship. And sure, they still have that title game in a couple weeks. But today, a chance for them to clinch the regular season on senior day. First quarter, Brees Hall. You don't see him, now you do. Out of the pile, 23-yard touchdown. Iowa State's on the board, 7-0. Second quarter, Brock Purdy starting to uh, round into form. Option read, I'll take it. 10-yard touchdown run makes it 14-0 Cyclones, and this is going to start getting out of hand. Cyclones ran for 127 yards in the first half. Later in the quarter, on the two, Purdy finds Landon Akers. The super senior scores his first career touchdown on his senior day. It's been a long, it's been high school. That was the last time he did it. Defense, they came to play as well. Jaquan Bailey. Gets the sack, very next play, Will McDonald, he can do it too. He gets the sack, Cyclones dominating in all facets, 21-0 at half. And third quarter, Purdy dropping dimes. Finds the man he's found all year, Charlie Kohler. Got a dude draped on him, one-handed, he still got it, no problem. A man amongst boys, 28-0 Iowa State, a drive later, Kenny Nwangu up the gut, 47 yards, a senior day to remember for the winningest senior class in Iowa State history. They win 42 to six, and they've got their ticket punched to Dallas in two weeks. So we bring in sports director John Schaefer now. And John, it was a historic day. Like you said, it's been 108 years. I don't know if we can call it a title yet, but we'll call it a regular season title <laughs> for the Iowa State Cyclones. Uh, arguably the best finish in Big 12 history for the Iowa State Cyclones for sure, Matthew. And, and what a game it was, just dismantling West Virginia today and Iowa State leaving no doubt. They will now be the home team in the Big 12 championship game on December 19th, as you mentioned, the first time that they have the opportunity to win that conference title since 1912. And of course, they will be the home team. So will they go all blacks like we've seen the most recent home games at least still a lot of exciting action to get to but the biggest part they get another week off to prepare it will be Oklahoma that they face assuming the Sooners take care of Baylor tonight so Oklahoma State lost earlier today to TCU so we'll get Oklahoma Iowa State 2.0 Two very different teams from where they were back when they met early on this season. Looking forward to that matchup again. Iowa State two weeks now to prepare. Oklahoma has another game left on the slate next week. So Iowa State going to get healthy, going to get ready, and you can expect a lot of excitement down there in Arlington. Matthew. All right, John, thank you very much. A lot of fans pinching themselves and surely a lot of celebrations going on around Cyclone Land.